Um, apologies. This was meant to be 10 questions, 10 outfits. However, I lost the footage for outfit in question 7. So, just pretend it's there in your head, alright? Enjoy. Ooh, that looks uneven. Ooh, I'm a house colour taxi. Hi guys, uh, welcome to my channel. I guess this is the first video I'm filming. Um, and I've watched it for ages, so I just thought, you know what, life's short, babes, you might as well live it. So, I hope the four of you that are here enjoy it. So today I'm going to be filming a 10 questions, 10 outfits video, uh, just because I love fashion, so I know I'm wanting to incorporate that, and also I thought the questions would just let you get to know a bit more about me, and with the outfits I could maybe give you some inspiration for 21st of June, you know, clubs reopening, I'm so excited, get them open right now, so I could maybe give you some outfit ideas or inspiration for outfits when we can finally go out again, so yeah, might as well get on to it. So this is outfit number one. I've just got this Chinatown Market t-shirt on with some straight leg black jeans and then with these big stompers. Um, so even though this outfit is quite boring, it's just like quite plain. Uh, the like colour coordination of this green with the like different shade of green on my shoes. I just love it. Um, because a colour coordinated outfit, oh, that's my favourite. Unless it's like Emma Chamberlain when she can literally wear anything. She could wear maroon with like a bright, luminous yellow and I'd be like, well, need that and go buy it, you know what I mean? So I do really like this one just for like cash, like drinks maybe. It's getting into summer, you know, springtime, early spring when it's a bit chilly, chuck a jacket on over it. Just so good. Question number one is plans for next year. So I'm currently in year 13 at college and I'm doing business media and economics, but we just won't mention that, we just won't. But I'm planning on going down to Manchester for uni to study primary education and I'm just so excited because everyone talks about how like nice of a city Manchester is and like all the different things that Manchester has to offer so I'm literally so excited to just get out of Richmond and just experience the city life really. And moving out is probably going to be really scary but it'll probably be the best thing for me because I do not want to be stuck in Richmond for the rest of my life. Sorry mum and dad but I really don't. Outfit number two is just this MKI fleece with this Zara gilet, um, some cream cords, and then my white Nike shocks. Um, I really like this outfit because I think like the muted tone of this green with the cream cords just looks really nice. However, it has to be a bit of a chilly one for this because I'm sweating in it right now. Like the light is really hot and I'm just... Oh. Question two is things I'm looking forward to in summer. So I'm just looking forward to seeing my friends really. I've got currently two festivals booked so I'm going to Leeds and Park Life um, and I don't want to book a holiday because I don't want to have to isolate or get cancelled because I'm still waiting since October, October last year for a refund on holiday and literally we not even getting half the price back so I'm just a bit worried about booking a holiday but me and the girls like talked about maybe getting like a lodge or something in Norfolk. Norfolk. No, begins with a C. Sure. Cornwall, in Cornwall. Um, so if we can, we might do that. Or if not, it's probably just gonna be like day trips out in the car somewhere. Um, just being in the sun, really clubbing. I'll oh, get the clubs open. Um, and just like seeing everyone again, just being in big groups of friends. Outfit number three is this. So it's just this uh, black Adidas cord. God, I love a bit of cord, don't I? Um, but it's just this black Adidas cord oversized jumper with these brown Zara trackies and then these chunky Alexander McQueen trainers. Um, I really like this outfit just for, like nipping downtown for a bit of shopping or like going to run errands. Do people still use that word? Um, but like just like going to run errands or something like that. Just like an easy day outfit. And it's literally so comfy so like you can just come home, take your shoes off and get on the sofa and relax. You know what I mean? Question three is from my sister and she asked which of our family dogs is my favourite. Is no one an answer? <laughs> no, I can't say that. No, I do love all the dogs, but like they just bark, they're yappy and there's just a lot of stress and hassle. So it has put me off getting dogs when I'm older. We've got five dogs in the family. So we've got two Jack Russells, a sausage dog and two French Bulldogs. But... 
I can't pick a favourite dog, that's what I mean. None of yours. Sorry. Outfit four is this, it's just this vintage Umbro jacket with this plain grey t-shirt, same straight leg black jeans that I had on before and I've put it with my Jordan 1s. Um, I just really like this outfit for a colder, chillier night, you know, wrapping up um, in summer. Um, I just like the colours because even though it's quite dark, the jacket is like primarily red so it brings a lot of colour to the outfit and then of course I'm colour coordinating it to my Jordans because that's my favourite thing to do. Question four is my biggest fear. So I'll probably say my biggest fear is death <laughs> not to be like bleak and morbid but it is like i don't really i'm scared of like the ocean like really deep water because who knows what is in there there's so many creatures that we don't even know that could literally eat us in one bite like we're a little sandwich so it'll probably be death but i feel like everyone's a bit scared of that you know what i mean um but other than death the big deep ocean the big deep ocean Outfit number five is just another knit jumper from ASOS. This uh, like gilet vest thing, that's also from ASOS. These like pale blue cord trousers. And then I've just put it all together with my chunky Nike Technos. I really like this outfit for like drinks or something or like even a meal because it is quite dressed up with like the different layers and stuff and it does look quite well put together. Um, but like it also is really comfy so Question number five is like how to be or like how to come across confident and I think like the biggest thing is just like self-belief and it's obviously easier said than done but like just not caring about what other people think like you've only got one life and when you're on your deathbed you're not going to be thinking of the things that you did you're going to be thinking of the things that you didn't do so just like do what like you really want and just like not focus on what other people think. Outfit number six is just this knit jumper from ASOS with the cream cords that I had on before. Um, I just think like a knit jumper with these cords just looks really nice. Not to blow my own trumpet or anything, but... Um, and then I've just put it with my Comme des Garçons Converse. Like, I just think this outfit as a whole, very cream beige. Love the minimalistic... Minimalist? Minimalist? minimalistic vibes of it so i really like this jumper i don't even know like what to call it like because this looks like tiger but then i once said this looks like mountains at college and everyone rates me for it so won't be saying that again um but then i just think it looks really nice maybe for like beer garden weather just like for when it gets a bit chillier on a night and um, you've obviously got the knit so it's a bit thicker and you keep your warmth and then with these long socks obviously so you don't actually slice your ankles open from the converse question six is what is your dream job so my dream job would be um a personal shopper uh i follow this woman on instagram she's called wildchild247 and literally she just lives a life that i want to have she basically like just sources like hard to find items and like clothes and stuff for her clients and like she's worked with like influencers on different like shoots and stuff and like styled them and like that is just what i want to do but not gonna lie, primary school teaching ain't gonna get me that job, so we'll just push that to the side. Outfit number eight is just this Billie Eilish long sleeve t-shirt that I got for my birthday. I've put it with these like straight leg blue dickies and then I've paired it with my big stompies yet again. Um, I just really like this outfit because obviously the trousers are really loud. With the top being like the majority black, like I just think it kind of like offsets some of it. So it's just like not too much going on. And although there's like a graphic print on here, I feel like it just complements it because it's like the blue and then it's got the green in, which is why I've got these on. Question number eight is if I could have like a dinner party with five guests, dead or alive, who would they be? Oh, this is literally such a hard one. Number one, definitely Rihanna. Just, I love her so much and I need that new album. I'm sick of waiting, I've had enough, you know what I mean? Number two would definitely be Harry Styles, just cause like, him knowing I'm a person. Are you joking? Are you actually, I wouldn't be able to live anymore. I would though, I would have to make myself live because he knew who I was. Number three will be Brittany Broski. I just love her. I literally love her so much. She's so funny. She'll bring the bands, but she's also really clever. So she could bring intellectual conversation to the table, which I will not be bringing. Number four would have to be Drake, I think. Like, he just seems so cool. And, like, I feel like he could take me to, like, his mansions and on his massive plane that he's got. So, like, the reason I'm inviting him is so we can become friends, you know what I mean? 
And number five, fitting, would be Billie Eilish. I just think she is literally the coolest person on earth. Especially with that blonde weave she's got now. Oh, amazing. However, an alternate five would be all the members of One Direction. Because I'm making them reunite and just get back together as a band. Because that's what I need. <sighs> I'm muffed in. Outfit number nine is just this cute long number. And um, so I've got this grey Supreme t-shirt on with this big faux leather Zara puffer. And um, the blue cords from before and I've just paired it all with my big wompy stompies. Um, I really like this outfit because again like the muted tones, like because he's like a pale, uh, it like goes well with the grey but then the like big black puffer breaks it up. Um, and then the shoes just... I love matching my shoes to like the whole outfit, so it's just like one put together piece, you know what I mean? So obviously this outfit is for a bit of a like colder day or night because this puffer is so thick, but like you can take it off obviously and it'll still be a cute outfit, but I just like it with a puffer, so I do want to get Instagram pictures in this, but I just don't know where to take Instagram pictures, like I want to go to like a nice place and get it in, co in front of like a cool wall, but struggling to find one of them, so if you know, let me know please. But yeah, I think this will be good for like an Instagram picture, but not for this time of year, especially if it's getting hotter. Question number nine is my biggest fashion inspiration. So some of the people that I follow on Instagram literally have like my favourite outfit. So I'll put them like here. Oh, really just some editing skills. Um, but like, I just love like their outfits and kind of they, it's like mainstream style, but with a twist, which is I think is kind of what I'm like. Like, it's not, like, crazy out there pieces, but, like, I do add, like, a twist onto it and, like, my own spin on stuff. But, yeah, like, I would love to say that my inspiration is, like, Harry Styles. And, like, yeah, we have such the same style, but I don't have that money in my bank, you know what I mean? So, at the minute, we'll just, we'll just not say that he's my inspiration. <laughs> Finally, outfit number 10 is this. It's just this Huff X Playboy jumper. Jumper? Oh, you can tell I've been doing this for a while. So it's just this Huff X Playboy t-shirt with this fleece that I got from TJ Maxx. Regatta fleece. Um, and then these trousers, which if anyone's going to say they look like work trousers, like for an electrician, I know, but you don't have to tell me, all right? And then I've just put them with my Air Force. I just think this outfit is just like really simple but cute. You've got like the warmth in this. If you're too hot, take it off, you know what I mean? Um, trousers, something a bit different, breaks up the white and the beige. Finally, question number 10 is where do I want to be in five years? Which, honestly, I literally don't know. Um, I know I want to be living down in Manchester. Obviously, I'm doing a primary education degree, so hopefully be a primary teacher, but who knows, that might not happen. Um, maybe still making YouTube videos, who knows? Could be a one-week thing and that's it, but hope that it's not really but I know one thing I want to do is travel um in that time like I want to go to Australia but then I want to but I wanted to do America not really sure anymore but I know I want to do Australia and New Zealand um but yeah so that is the end of my first video whoa it took its time Jesus but um I really hope you enjoyed it to the four of you that watched this I hope you really loved it and it spiced up your day but yeah, hopefully I'll be making more videos soon. Let me know, comment, um, what you want to see. Because some people say like vlogs, but I don't do anything. Like I can't even, leave. well, I can't leave the house now. I can have six people around. So might do something with that. Probably won't. Um, but just let me know what you want to see. Comment something. Um, but I hope you all enjoyed. And I'll hopefully see you in my next video.